All right, you guys, we're live. So, hey, everybody. Uh, this is like an impromptu book call. We were just sitting here chatting, and I've been meaning to film a book call for like the last three weeks. So we decided to go live and just do the book call live. Um, oh, I didn't. I need to uh, monitor comments somehow. I don't know how I'm going to do oh, that. I, I'm looking at them if you want me to. Yeah, help. can you do that? That way I can just deal with the books because yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Books are love times three says okay to your last comments and then we back to pick up. Hi Whitney. Hi. Hi. Whitney. So the first little batch of books I got are not review copy books. They're books I bought, but I bought them at a thrift store. So I literally got them for like uh, the paperbacks that were a quarter and the hardbacks for fifty cents. So huge bargain. I picked up Dominion, which is um, adult horror. I think. It's from the early 80s. Um, the Religion, which is adult horror. The Lost World by Michael Crichton. I've got like four copies of Jurassic Park and I did not Ooh, have funny, them all, so. funny, sorry to interrupt, but it said that it, oh, right, okay. We just had a comment saying that the screen was black and I've just gone on and it's because of Sushi is not. Is sushi. it stuck on Sush? Yeah, it's stuck on Sush, but it's, uh, she's not on her video, so I don't know why it's just gone black, but that might be why. But I'll play now and see if it changes. Okay, hit refresh because I just locked it on me, yeah. which means it's not yeah, going to rotate when y'all talk. Yeah, that's perfect. That's, that's done. Cool set. Okay, I'm just going to show these covers again real quick. The first one was Dominion. The Religion, and The Lost World, which it was funny because, you know, I, I thought I had the whole series of this, but I don't. I've got um, Jurassic Park, like three different copies of it. So I picked this up. It was a good deal. It was a quarter. And then this book is called The Ghost Boat. This book is actually all so old it doesn't even have a, um ISBN number. I think it came out in, the, I want to say, the 40s. And it's horror from... Dale Books, which I think became Bantam, if I'm not mistaken. And then I picked up one of the books from the Pendragon series, which I have book one in the series, and I wanted the rest because I really liked it. So this was a really good find for me, and I got it for 50 cents, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So that was a good find. And then I picked up um, The Harlequin by uh, Laurel K. Hamilton. I want to say that these are like vampire werewolf books. I don't know because I've not read the series. I've only got like two books in the series, and they're not the first ones. I've got like book four and like book seven or something crazy. So when I saw this, I went ahead and picked it up just to have another book in the series, and eventually I'll have it all and I can read it. So that's all the bargain books that I got. Let me move them out of the way. Would you like me to read a couple of comments? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, Book Need Love says hi. Hi, uh, Geek. <laughs> I was about to say geek porn vlogs, but geek prawn vlogs. I always say porn too. Yeah. Same. Well, this is that. <laughs> but it says it's working now. So thank you guys. Just make sure that's it. A bit of refresh. Uh, Books I Love says um, Pendragon. Bunny, oh my god, you've made my day that you know what Pendragon is. And she also says, I didn't know Jurassic Park book. Yeah, it's a series. I think there's three or four in the series, I think. And then if you like that, there's another book called Red Raptor. It's written by somebody else, which, like, it follows the life of a mother velociraptor. Like, the book is written from her perspective. It is crazy. You're reading it, and you're like, what? And it was good. I mean, you know, it was emotionally good. I was all crying and shit. It was good. But that one, that's called Red Raptor. You should look that up. Mm -hmm. um, the next books I got were... You know, everything else is going to be stuff I got. No, not everything else. I got some gifts, and I'll do those at the end. The books I got for review since the last book haul, I got audiobook of Clockwork Princess. <laughs> no, you don't like Isn't it now? Good? No, I do. It's amazing, but I just don't like the fact you've got one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um, I got The Ghoulish Song, which is a children's book. Probably upper middle grade. And they sent me the Demonologist, which I'm really excited. I would give anything. For, I would trade this for the hardback in a minute. Because yeah. I'm not... I'm, I've only done like two audiobooks, and it's 
it's so I've liked one and I've not liked one and it's totally has to do with whether the narrator is into the book or if they're just narrating the book if mm -hmm. I feel like the narrator's voice doesn't fit the story then I don't enjoy it do you know what I mean yeah so audiobooks and me are not it don't seem like we're working out so I would rather have the hardback of this but they sent me these for review so I'm I'm very grateful at least I got it in some format do you know what I mean I really I really want it that it looks sounds good doesn't it yeah it sounds really good um, and then got a bunch of book books. Today I got The Resurrectionist. This is coming out May, May. 12th from Quirk. That it's, looks awesome. I believe it's horror. The book looks awesome too. Look at the book. Is yours complete? Oh, you've got hardback. I, you see, I've got paperback, but mine's not finished yet. Like, but the well, last... it might be because you're in the UK. Like, your cover won't be the same cover as mine. That's true. But is you got is all your pages filled up? Or is there some pages that are like left at, at the back? No, it's done. You see, mine's not. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. I really want. <laughs> I love Quirk. They are so good to me, and I have no idea why. Like, I, just, I love I Quirk. Great publishing house. But I'm really looking forward to this. It does have a lot of pictures, so I'm hoping it won't take very long to read. And then I got Big Daddy's Rules. This is um, like some of the blurbs on the back are from John Stewart, Whoopi Goldberg. Ray Romano, uh, Joe Rogan, they're all talking about how funny this is, so I'm really looking forward to reading this. It is May 7th. I have never heard of this guy before. Apparently, he's on some reality TV show, so you guys might know who that is. I don't know who it is. Um, Steve Shrippa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who he is, but the blurbs on the back, I'm like, yeah, because I need some comedy in my life right now, so I'm really... I'll, I'll probably start that in a few days since I'm having a hard time getting back into the book that I'm already reading. Um, the Mark of the Gold Dragon, this comes out May 14th. It is, I want to say, upper middle grade. But I think this is maybe book two or book three in the series. Book nine. This is book nine in a series that I do not have. So I won't be reading this anytime soon. I've got to get the other books. The Caged Graves by Diana Salerni. This comes out May 14th. This is YA. I like the look of that. It looks very dainty. I don't know what it's about, but outside the cemetery wall. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. It's a very dainty, like, female cover. Yeah. The end pages are purple, even. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I usually don't like girly books. Flora's Fury. I think this is book three or four in a series. This is coming out May 14th. From This is book three. It's coming out May 14th from Graphia. I don't have the rest of this series either, so I can't tell you anything about, about the book. And I really don't want to read you anything off the back because so far into the series, it might be a spoiler or something that happens at the beginning. The Year of the Book, which is uh, children's or beginning middle grade. I love getting these books because even though, like, my daughter is a little bit, you know, beyond the reading level of these, I do have nieces and nephews. And Harmony likes to pick this stuff up as, like, a quick read. <sighs> um, the author sent me this one... Naja's Keeper. She said this is like, if you like True Blood, this is a vampire book. It's not like anything that you've ever read, apparently. And all the reviews that I looked at on Goodreads really liked it. So, And this is an indie author, so it might be worth checking out because it's going to be a book that you've not heard of before. Hmm. And everybody is in love with the whole vampire genre, so you might check it out, look up the uh, reviews and stuff and see. But this is an indie book. I'm pretty sure it's already out. Would you like me to read a couple of comments quick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, Crichton, Crichton, Michael is Crichton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is a very good writer. A lot of his books became films. That's from Geek Pron Vlogs. KTO Book says, Hi guys, didn't see that one coming. Nice to see you all. Hi Katie. Hello. Uh, Which is not from, really her name. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Books I Love says, Velociraptors, they're my absolute favourite dinosaurs in the movies. And then she said, I've never listened to audiobooks. And then Geek Cron Vogue says, I have read, but I can't listen to a story. 
seems too distracting to me. And um, Book I Love says, I love the cover of The Resurrectionist. Do you know what? I'm really excited for that book. The Resurrectionist one. It looks proper good. I seem to have a better, because uh, I did a couple of short stories that were audiobooks too, and I seem to do better with them. Like I had the ebook, and I was following along with the ebook and listening to the audio. That's how I do audiobooks. I can only listen to an audiobook if I've got the book in front of us to read. But mind you, seeing that, I got like a free voucher from Audible. And I downloaded a couple of books that I'd already read, and it was so nice to listen to them. Because obviously I knew what was going to happen. But um, it was really relaxing, like, to help you sleep on a night when you've got someone, like, reading a book you've already read to you. So I think I'm going to subscribe to Audible, because I actually really enjoyed that. I'm going to go on. You ready? Yeah, yeah, you go on. Sorry. Um, I was sent nothing but blue. I don't remember what this is about. There is no synopsis on the back, but I remember whenever I saw it, I was like, ooh, I want to read that. This comes out May 7th, so look this one up. If you look, it's actually... Oh, cool. The photo is sideways. Oh, wow, yeah. But it's called Nothing But Blue, and I, I honestly, I don't remember anything about it other than when I saw it, I was like, ooh, I hope I get, I get a copy of that, and I did. And then I got um, Teacher's Pest, which is the next book in the... Uh-oh, Emma got kicked out. It's the next book in the Lovecraft Middle School series. Mm -hmm. you see it change? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that freaky? That's These cool. covers freak me out. This came out... No, it's coming out May 17th. Is that Emma coming back in? Emma! I was sent The Whale's Bequest. This is the sequel to um, A Grim Legacy. This is book two. I, I don't have the first book, so I'm going to have to pick it up before I can read it. But I'm really looking forward to it because The Grim Legacy, which there's a picture of that cover right there, if you can see it. Mm -hmm. I love these covers. I want that book so bad. Oh, yeah, that is pretty. Look at this. this one's, isn't it beautiful? Yeah. Do you dare to change the path? Yeah, I can't wait. I want to read these so bad. This is not coming out until June thirteenth, so I've got I've got a little bit of time to pick up the first one. I was sent uh, the Apprentice. This comes out June fourth. This is also a second book in a series. Um, the Apoth Apoth Apothecary. There's book one right there. So this is the second book in that, and I've not read that either. I'm gonna have to try to find a copy of that book too. I really, I wish, I wish before publishers sent you a sequel, they would email you to see if you'd read the first one or not, yeah. because I love getting them, but I can't, I'm not going to read book two if I haven't read book one. The good way to get for them to make you buy the first one, isn't it? I, that's, that's, I honestly, I'm, I don't want to make it sound like I'm being nasty or anything, but I really do feel that way. I feel like maybe they do it on purpose. Mm. But then it sounds like they're stalking out the reviewers. Let me look and see how if they've read it or not, because this one hasn't listened to her as equal. This is called um, Surfacing by Nora Raleigh Baskin. I believe this is an indie book. Oh, that looks it? lovely. Yeah. It's not very thick, and it is why I, I believe it is a thriller. Um, March 12th, so this is already out. I want to say it's indie. It says from Candlewick Press, so I don't know if that's a vanity house or... I was sent, which I squealed when I got this, because I love this kind of stuff. It's editor-proof editor, editor proof your writing, 21 steps to the clear prose publishers and agents crave. So, if you know, if you guys are new to my channel, you might not know that I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of writing several books, and I have been for pretty much my whole and entire adult life, and I just seem to can't make any progress, so I'm, I constantly pick up this kind of book to help me, do you know what I mean, because you don't want to submit something that's not your absolute best work, I've not had a chance to read this one yet, but I like just flipping through it, you know, there are tip sections, and there's a lot of bullet points, um, 
anything that's going to help me get through my writing process, I'm down for checking it out. This came out April 1st. What's today? 20th. Okay, yeah. So this came out at the beginning of the month. Man, I'm way behind on doing a book call, ain't I? Mm -hmm. This is Queen Victoria's Book of Spells. This is, um, it's called Gaslamp Fantasy, which if you like steampunk, steampunk falls in the gas lamp genre, if how I read that is correct. This is a bunch of short stories. I am so excited that I got this one. This is coming out March 19th. This is probably the next book that I read, like the next book book that I pick up for funsies. Um, because it's the thing about short stories is you you're not locked into one story. Like you can read 15 pages and you're done. You can pick it up the next day or you could pick it up the next month and it doesn't affect your reading. Of yeah. it. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. And I don't think I've ever actually read the only steampunk I've read was actually a middle grade book. So this is going to be an interesting read for me. I'm going to use this as like my guide to let me know whether that's a genre I want to check out more or not. Short stories are a way to great way to do that because you get to sample several authors in that genre, if that makes any sense whatsoever. It does. I got Natural Born Angel. I believe this is a sequel. This came from Razorbill. This came out April twenty third or it's coming out April twenty third. I have no idea what it's about. As you know, I've not I've not really been reading this month. I'm really falling behind on everything. But divorce does that to you. So um Price Upon a Marigold. This came out the sixteenth. This is the third book in the series. This is an upper middle grade series. I do have book ones and two, but I've not had a chance to read them yet. So I don't know if it's any good. But it sounds really cute. It's like fairy tale retelling. So it's good stuff. Do you want to do some comments and then I'll yeah. show my gift box? Um, Frenchie D says, "Hey Bunny, hey Casey." And then Casey says, "Hey D D or D D." I uh, never know. And then Clutch Heartache says, "Oh, that looks interesting." A bookseller says, "The World Book has a really cute cover. I want the editor-proof book. I'm going to read. I'm going to need Queen Victoria's book of spells. Yup, just adding that to this now. That's what the love says." And then French D says, "It's D D." Refresh, see if anything, yeah, that's, that's it so far. Okay, I'm turning my volume up a little bit because I can barely, barely make you out. And then, right. um, just, just briefly, you know, I posted about it on my Facebook, so most people probably know I'm, I'm having a real rough spot in life right now. I'm in the middle of kind of a surprise divorce that I didn't see coming, so it's really affecting every aspect of my life. I don't have time to do stuff. Uh, I can't quit worrying about stuff to focus on reading. So it's it's not a good time for me. And um, Lindsay, who is the book vlogger here on YouTube, bless her heart. I love her so much. She sent me a box in the mail today. It was a huge box. And I had just emailed them last night and told them I thought I was going to have to drop out of YT Book Club because I couldn't afford to buy the book for this month. And I don't see my finances changing anytime time soon and I'll be damned if that heifer today when the mail ran she sent me a copy of it so I did get a copy of the book club book for this month and I'm going to try to get read before book club comes my brain is all frazzled and I can't focus on reading really right now so I don't know if I'm going to make it or not but I am going to try because Lindsay went out of her way to send it to me Aww. and also in this book she sent me this is like my how to get through a divorce box is basically what this is. She sent me Nosferatu by Joe Hill because it's on my wish list and I love Joe Hill and she knew I didn't have it so she sent it to me so I was like yeah and then also in this box it had a shit ton of, of chocolate sorry that was my phone there was a lot of chocolate in here and, and one of the bags is it was just a brown paper bag and it said, for when life really sucks, emergency kit. And when I went to pick it up, I told my daughter, I said, this is liquor. And I went to pick it up, and it was real squishy, and it moved around. So this is what I was feeling in there. She put a bunch of M&Ms in there. <laughs> but as I was dumping the M&Ms into the baggie, this fell out. So she sent me some vodka and lots of chocolate to help get me through my divorce. She sent tons of Kit Kats and Reese Cups, you know. <laughs> 
So she sent me two books and a bunch of chocolate and some liquor. So I appreciate my interweb bestie. I really do. But yeah, so that's it. That's all of the books. Has one of you clicked on me? Because apparently all people can see is my face. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's beautiful. Sorry. Gosh, guys. I'm sorry that my face is so bad. In the comments, <laughs> they're, like, they're like, I can't see because it's all in Ben's face. It's stuck on Ben's face. <laughs> sorry, I'm ugly. I'm going to show you real quick. This is the cover of Falling Kingdoms. Uh, I think we meet like the 5th or the 6th to talk about this. It's the first Saturday of the month. So that's Falling Kingdoms. And the other book Lindsay sent was Nosferatu by Joe Hill. Which is about Satan, Santa Claus, and vampires. <laughs> you have to read the synopsis. I don't know because I've not read it yet. But I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> so that's it. That's That was a hell of a bunch of books. So... How many books do you think that you need to read? Like, how like how many unread books do you have on your shelf? A lot. Yeah. It used to, I'd, I would buy and read and buy and read. But when I started BookTube, everybody's always posting book hauls, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to miss out on a book. So rather than buy and read, I'm buy, 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 read what I can. Buy, 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 read what I can. Buy, 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 read what I can. And then now that I get review copies, it's there's no way I can read them all. There's no way I can keep up between what I buy. And what I get for review, there's just no way. There's only so many hours in a day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. If I had to guess, I'd say I probably have about 21 or 2,200 books, and probably half of them I've not had a chance to read yet. Wow. Because this right here, let's see. Can you see this stack right here? Yeah. This is all review copies that I need to get read, and it actually runs down. I'm giving out, um, oh, I forgot to even show these. Oh, and my Kindle's downstairs. I've got books on my Kindle, too. Uh, I am a book giver for World Book Night this year, and they sent me 20 copies of Good Omens, and I'm giving them to a bunch of underprivileged kids in our area. Mm. Nicole, I'm, I'm so grateful that, you know, um, Neil Gaiman and Terry Pratchett, first of all, donated the royalties from their books to be able to participate in World Book Night and I'm I feel blessed to have been chosen as a giver and my hope is by giving this to some of privileged kids we can introduce reading and get some kids hooked on reading. Do you know what I mean? New booktubers. Yeah. I would much rather than read a book on drugs or whatever. So but yeah this whole back down and that all the way across to right here is review copies. Plus, everything I just showed you, that's how behind I am right now. Because I was already in kind of a funk and taking a little bit of a break. You remember when I had all the guests do Friday reads? Yeah. Well, whenever I decided to end my break, well, I'm going to end my break and um, start doing Friday reads and videos again. All this shit went down. So now I'm like, <sighs> I don't know. Life is just sucking on my end right now. Just sucks. Is there any comments? I uh, guess. Um, there should be some awards for friends like that, KTO Book says. Yeah. Um, Geek uh, Pron Blog says, did that hill get released already? No, it comes out. Um, what do I even do with it? Oh, I didn't write on it. It comes out. It says May 2013. So it'll be out in May. And then Books I Love said, Satan, Santa, and Vampires! Exclamation. Uh, yeah, go read the favorite. synopsis. The synopsis is like a really bad acid trip. You'll read it and be like, "Did I, did I get high before I sat down here? I don't, I don't understand." <laughs> um, we've got some uh, comments uh, here, wishing you luck and hoping everything's okay with you and stuff. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you want me to read them out or not, but. Now, no, I don't even really no. want to talk about it because I don't want to cry. Yeah, I didn't think so. And then Bunny says, did you want, no, yeah, no, no Bunny says, but was our love says, Bunny, did you want to see 3D Jurassic Park or do you even like Jurassic Park movies? I did like Jurassic Park the movie, but I am not paying theater money to go see it in 3D because I own the DVD and that's good enough for me. I think, 
I think Hollywood has a real problem right now of doing whatever they can to try to capitalize and make as much money as they can. Like re-releasing all these older movies as, as 3D. Come on, yeah. come up with some new stuff. I know, because recently, like in my hometown, the Finding Nemo's been on in 3D. Um, is my mic muted? No. no. It's just it says on the top, sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic. Oh, no, <laughs> you must be really quiet then, but we can hear you. Yeah, can can you hear us all right? Yeah. That's good. Uh, I'm going to have to go in eight minutes because I've got washing to do and washing up to do, which is annoying. Why is the camera not rotating when people talk? If you right click on uh, the person that it's stuck on, like when you clicked on now. Yeah, I know. I'm not clicked on anyone. I understand that, but it's not rotating. It's stuck on Sush. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just like sitting here quietly. <laughs> like you know normally it jumps from person to person it's jumping for me but do you mean live it's not jumping like on the actual YouTube channel no it's they said while ago it was stuck on you like oh, right oh it fixed it, it. Stuck on you. but we they fixed, fixed it yeah so it's rotating around Ben I think so yeah let me just check let me just check. Let me just check. I'm about to check for you. I'm just gonna check. I'm checking. Oh no, here it comes. Well, we don't have to stay on very much. No, long. it's not. It's still stuck on sushi. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's not rotating, and I don't want to just leave it stuck on me. But it is my channel, so. Yeah, I think they'd much rather look at you. Yeah, I am cute today, so. <laughs> I'm just I'd show you guys my face, but it's not very nice right now. I didn't even know you didn't have makeup on, so I think you really need to shut up already. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not, it's because I'm sick. I look like a friggin' hot mess. I'm still wearing my pajamas with a hoodie over top. Like, that's it. Well, I've been crying for two weeks. I look like somebody punched me in the fucking face. You look amazing. You, look you know, it's makeup. It's all makeup. <laughs> look, my eyeliner's all where I was Tearing up while going got black eyeliner everywhere. Divorces suck. Don't ever get married. Ever. Sush, I know I'm too late <laughs> to save you, but you do. Don't ever get married. I'm not going to get married. Neither am I. I swore I wouldn't, and then I turned around and did it. And this well, is what happened. That's the funny thing, too, is that I thought I wouldn't get married until I was in my 30s, and I got married at 22. <laughs> I won't never do it again. My day said, oh, you should never say that. You're going to be married within a year. I was like, fuck you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. On that note. <laughs> don't get married, anyone. Peace. So I will be oh. heading off in five minutes. What? I will be heading off in five minutes. Well, why don't you do that then? To do... <laughs> <laughs> be an asshole and leave us. We don't care. <laughs> I've been hanging out with you lot for nearly five hours. I know it's like four or five hours now. <laughs> we try to say what? What? My friendship got a shelf life? What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I taught you all my deep dark secrets. I know we know all of them. I, I feel like I know you better, way better than I should ever wanted to. <laughs> I know you exactly as well as I wanted to. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now, what do you fucking want? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love you all so much. I love you all. I don't want people to think I'm a step up person. I'm not. Anyway. Anyhow. <laughs> Any crocodile. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Am I from England? I don't talk like this from Harry Potter. <laughs> you must be kidding. Harry Potter? My name oh. is Beyonce. I'm Beyonce. <laughs> Mother care. Hello, I'm from... <laughs> I'm, don't tease me. <laughs> okay, we should, we should end it, but then you should sing us out. Yeah, sing us out. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye. I do, 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 do.
I've been really trying, baby. 